Welcome back. Now, in northern Nigeria, children brave violence every day just to get to school. The average girl stops attending class at the age of nine, but one woman is working to give Nigeria's girls the chance to learn and ensure that children are getting a quality education. She spoke to Africa 54's Haiti Adams Fitzpatrick, who joins us now with the rest of the story. Haiti. Vincent Rabia Eshak is the Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology in northern Nigeria's Jigawa state. She has a message for her country and the rest of Africa. If you want to spur innovation and economic growth in your country, you must equip young people with the right skills to unlock their potential. Nigeria has more children out of school than any other place in the world. The United Nations estimates that more than 10 million Nigerian children are not receiving a formal education. Rabia Eshak says she has seen firsthand how girls have been disappearing from the classroom. Poverty is a, a very grinding you know, a factor that stops girls from going to school because they have to be used for labor and sometimes also girls you know, get married early. and. Uh, they don't get to go to school. We all know about the Chibok girls that were taken away from schools, and that was a demotivator for many girls to go to school, for many parents to send their kids to school, especially in the uh, insurgency ravaged areas. It wasn't until she sent her own daughter to school that Eshak noticed something equally worrying. Even the few girls that actually get to school, they don't get the quality education that, that I got. When I saw that my girl was not learning, I knew that then other girls were not learning. And of course other boys too. But I felt that if the indices show that, you know, less and less girls are coming out of school, then I believe that there is something wrong and that something needs to be done. Eshak began working to improve the standard of education in northern Nigeria. She established two schools and set up five campuses of a polytechnic institute to teach young people, especially girls, the skills they needed to become self-employed when they grow up. I started a project the targeted girls only, which I call the girls, girls advancement project. And I worked in very rural communities with young girls uh, who weren't in school at all, but who needed to learn to read, write, and some, you know, some basic skills, for some basic life skills. Eshak led the largest education project in Africa, reaching about 18 million Nigerians and inspiring the government to fund the renovation of hundreds of schools. Her story is featured in a new book about women creating positive change around the world. Eshak says it's vital that education is treated as a development priority across Africa. Current leadership on the continent is not focused on any clear agenda for development. I don't see the agenda for development in, in, in Africa. I honestly don't. How do you develop your people? How do you, how do you release the potentials among your people? And look at what is happening, youth unemployment everywhere on the continent. Huge numbers of young people, most of them unskilled. What are we teaching in our schools? Are we really teaching our kids to live in the 21st century? Or are we just putting them through the system and then getting them out and then let them all sit at home? Eshak says the relationship between education and sustainable development is critical because of Africa's youth bulge. The number of young people growing up and entering the workforce in Africa has the potential to create either progress or problems. The continent is the next world, I believe, you know. We have all the potential, we have everything, we have the human capital. But it has to be good human capital, it cannot just be people. It has to be productive people, people that have a purpose to live. What would we want to get out of our people, what do we want to get out of our young people especially? because they are the future and we, we need to be working on the future. We can't just leave it to, to, to chance. You know the saying, it takes a village to raise a child? Well, Rabia Eshak says Africa needs a continent-wide commitment to education and skills training. She says Africa's development and progress depends on it.